Welcome back, everybody, to another box opening here. We got another M19 box. Makes a lot of sense that it's 2019 and not 2018. Someone actually, someone commented on a YouTube video. Yeah, the, the video where I was like, I had the whole rant about why isn't this called 2018. And uh, they were like, well, it's because it's played in standard in 2019. And I'm like, it's also played in standard in 2018. That doesn't make any sense at all. Anyway. Anyway. What up, ew, you're skinny. As usual, not gonna show the commons or the un or the land or the token unless the token's cool. And uh, we're just gonna hop right in. Ooh! I don't know why I showed you that. You don't care, I don't care, nobody cares. Hey, nobody cares for these guys. Put you here with the commons. What do we got here? We got a sift, a corrosion, and a reassembling skeleton. Okay, that's exciting. Ooh, first pick. No, it's just an infernal reckoning. I was just trying to get you guys hyped. I don't know if it worked. I had the same conversation with Alan Ackbar. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, no matter, I, like, I feel like any justification you use for for making it M19 instead of M18, it just also will work for M18. Uh, additionally, like, their Commander 2018 set is not called 2019, it's called 2018, because it's released in 2018. So Wizards of the Coast is setting a precedent that the name of a set is such based on the year it's released. Which, which could, like, it's, it's weird to have two different brands with the year in their titles conflict with one another. Like... Because at that point, it's like, well, what, is the, what does the name even mean then? Like, what's the point of putting a year in your name if it's going to mean different things for different products? Does that make sense? Hopefully that, guy makes, that makes sense to you guys. Hold on, I have to respond to some house-related things. RAC has been giving us a real problem recently, and that's not cool when you're in Florida. All right, so we got Meteor Golem, Giant, and Novice Knight. Not, it's not bad. What's the foil going to be? An Exclusion Mage. Wow. Uh, hasn't it always been Corset XX with X being the next year? Yes, it has, but that doesn't literally makes zero more sense. Um... That doesn't make any, like, it doesn't, like, like, I hope that's not, like, your justification for it, because literally saying, well, it's the way we've always done it, uh, is one of the worst things you could actually say in terms of progress. Uh, Goreclaw is our rare. I assume it's because it's more important to follow the conventions of other trading card printings with a set target and more, I don't know what that means, though. Like, how are you following conventions of other trading card products? Printings, especially when you have a Commander 2018 set that's released in 2018, that doesn't make sense to me. So, probably just don't want people confusing M18 with MM18. Yeah, but now I'm confusing it with M19. Wouldn't I just confuse it with MM19? Like, <laughs> that doesn't make any. Like, it makes sense up until the next year when you also have M19 products. Lightning Mare, uh, Blood Divination, and another Exclusion Mage, excluding all day. Oh, this guy's actually going in the foil spot. With the changes in rotation happening, it's possible they plan it for 2019 when they say, oh, maybe, but I don't see why they wouldn't change the name. But they said, they, okay, they said they were following baseball card conventions, right, but then they still have Commander 2018 that's coming out in 2018 and not 2019. So why are you following baseball conventions with one set, but not other sets? Right? Now, does that... Does that... Still doesn't make any sense to me. Whoa! Got real excited to open this bad boy. Sarkhan! That's a good first mythic. I 
again, like, I don't have a problem if you're going to do it, right? Like, I don't have a problem if, you're, if your thing is like, hey, we're doing it because we, we like to print our sets and then name them for the following year. But it's not consistent. It's not consistent branding because they have a product that comes out this year called 18. They also have a master set that came out last year called 17. So, like, it's weird that the core set is the only set that is being named for the following year when you have literally more than one set that is named for the actual year that it comes out. That's all I'm saying. Hostile Minotaur foil. Oh. And we got another one of these one of these jobbies. One of these Nicol Bolas checklist boys. Oh, it's because of Target Walmart. Interesting. Whatever that means. Good. Do you guys see the Sarkon? Can we show it again? That's exciting. You got Plague Mare, a Horizon Scholar, and a Make a Stand. From what I understand, it's about marketing, as the set will still be legal next year. They don't want new players and counter players to think it's an old product and they're going to purchase Magic next year. But won't it also be legal in 2020 as well? Oh my god. <laughs> and a Chromium. We're off to a good start, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. We got a Chromium and a Sarkon so far. Both of those very playable cards. I'm a fan. Can we do a Nick Nikki B? No Nikki B. Oh, Vivian Emblem. I get excited about emblems because they're like they're like the mythics of tokens. And I'm a I'm a friggin' nerd. Oh, I got this emblem. Uh, yeah, and I actually sleeve all my tokens. Uh, not all of them, but like enough that I would need. Like so, it's like oh, I have like six knights sleeved. I'll have one of each emblem sleeved, so that way I can put them in my deck box when I play, and I always have the, the correct tokens that I need for any possible outcome. Seder, Enchanter, Tectonic Rift, and Make a Stand, followed by a Magistrate's Scepter. I don't know if it does rotate out in late 2019, because only being in a year a year in standard is weird. Four boxes, you got three bolus and eight tokens. Eight tokens, what is that? Really? That seems weird. I have I have I'm on my fourth box now, and I've only opened one bolus. So ideally we can up that count some. Oh god, I just dropped everything. I'm like a grandpa over here. Oh, I fumbled. Oh my pretty magic cards. Oh, you got a skilled animator, a recollect, and a fell specter. Fell specter being one of the worst specters ever printed. Patient rebuilding. Like I said earlier, this is probably... I like this card a lot. Um, five mana is a lot, but I think the effect is good. Because they wanted to print a flip bullet so badly that they had to make a checklist card just for him and completely ruin the basic land slot. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's really kind of weird. One, two, three, four. Five, All right. Got a Skyride Patrol, Rise from the Grave, and a Reliquary Tower. In this bad in this bad boy, bad Larry. And another metamorphic alteration. This is like I think our third. We're quickly approaching that playset. Fell Spectre, yeah, that's uh that's the Yeah, nailed it. Oops. Alright. What do we got here? Vine Mare, Surge Mare, and Aether Tunnel. Okay, okay. How, Wyatt, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. And um, I'm waiting for the triple mare pack. That's what I want. I want to open a pack with three mares in it. And a desecrated tomb is our rare. Interesting sideboard card. I, the things I don't like about this card are as follows. Three mana is a lot uh, for a card like this. Desecrated tomb, just in case you guys can't see it, because my the, the webcam is not... Uh, being pleasant as far as zooming in goes and focusing. Uh, it says, whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, create a 1-1 one, one black bat creature token with flying. My problem is if you delve, let's say you delve like four creatures away, you're not getting four tokens, you're getting one token. So for every instance of one or more creatures being exiled, leaving your graveyard, uh, you make one bat. So if Relic of Progenitus gets cracked and both, exiled, both graveyards gets exiled, both graveyards gets exiled, both graveyards get exiled, uh, you're making one bat. 
I just feel like it's kind of dirtily. Okay. Would that be a stable pack? Wow, that was gas. Uh, yes, the upcoming rotation is Aether Volt, Kaladesh, Hour of Devastation, and Amon Kit. And that is all. Oh, we got a foil, boys. And girls. Ladies and gentlemen. Aether Shield Artificer, Aerial Engineer, and a Reliquary Tower. Got the, the artifact-based pack here. We got a uh, ooh, foil Vivian's Invocation. Like you do. Looking, looking spicy. And an open the graves. Less less spicy. Uh only Kalish and Amonkhet. Yeah, only only Kalish and Amonkhet blocks rotate. That is correct. Aegis of the Heavens, uh, Reclamation Sage into Johnny's Pride Mate. Two two pretty playable cards in here. Not bad. Oh, you focused that time, didn't you? And a fraying omnipotence. Not not playable. How do you know it's not playable? Well, you know, I just guessed. I took a guess. Oh, another foil. I like it. Gravedigger, Exclusion Mage, and a Novice Knight. Druid of the Cowl foil. Oh, so flashy. Just beautiful. And an Isolate. Probably worth a quarter, but... I think everyone is super psyched for Ravnica because it's Ravnica, and like Ravnica is such a it's it's such a, a positive association for Magic players. No matter which Ravnica it is, you got a Vampire Sovereign, a Gutter Snipe, and an Inferno Hellion, guys. That's exciting. It's not. I just I'm trying to hype it up because, you know, Graveyard Marshal. Okay. Well, excuse me. We are having a hell of a time. Brawl Bash Ogre, Blanchwood Armor, and another murder. So many murders, guys. And that's how you end up on the watch list. On the FBI watch list. Oh, Sarkon's Unsealing. Two of these guys. This card is pretty decent. In case you guys don't know, it's a four mana enchantment. One red and three colorless. This is whenever you cast a creature spell with power four, five, or six. Sarkhan's Unsealing deals four damage to any target. And if you cast a creature spell with seven power or greater, it deals four damage to each opponent, each creature, and each planeswalker they control. So uh, I actually played a deck yesterday. It went up today on YouTube, I believe. A red-green deck. And um, it plays Traxos and Sarkhan's Unsealing, where you're like, oh, I'll just Traxos and deal four to every planeswalker, your face, and all your creatures. It was pretty sweet. That's a cool thing to do. I'm also desensitized to all these murders. Oh, oh it's another Gin of Wishes. I accidentally saw it. Not exciting, though. I'm sorry. And a Fiery Finish, a Diagraph Ghoul, and a Psychic Symbiont. I'll show them just because I don't care. Okay. Well, that pack was not worth the, the, the laser ink printing on it. Whatever that means. Where's these Nicol Boluses? Four boxes and one Nicol Bolus is not reasonable. I'm sorry. We got a Regal Bloodlord, a Ravenous Harpy, and a Druid of the Horns. Followed by another Mystic Archaeologist. A card I will definitely play in a control deck. Another Avatar token. And what do we got here? Volcanic Dragon, Nightly Valor, and a Bone to Ash. Never go Bone to Ash, guys. That's uh, Alpine Alpine Moon. I think that's two of two. Still no Sarkon? Sarkon was like one of our first opens this box. Get it, get it together, buddy. Some packs are worth money, some packs win you drafts. That's actually a really good way to look at it. We got Dry Green Seeker, a Stitcher's Supplier, and a Rupture Spire. I'd like to think two of those are quite playable. 
And another Sigil of the Sword of Valoron. Sigil of the Sword of Valoron. Not exciting. Ain't nobody playing that. Hoss, we got we already got a Sarkon. I opened it earlier. I don't know if you saw. Did you notice? Did you see it? Mirror Mage, Mirror Image, Diamond Mare, and Thud. Three, uh, three beautiful boys there. And another Gigantosaur. 10, 10, 4, 5. Some packs do do both. He said do do. Fell Spectre, Departed Deckhand, and a Gear Per Guide. Nobody cares about these. I'm a big fan of a Vivian Reed. That is a solid Planeswalker. What are our mythics so far? Chromium, Sarkon, and Vivian Reed? Alright, that's three. Those are three good ones, too. I'm a fan. This is box number four, right? I believe it is. Yeah, it is. Alright, so that's not bad. It's not the bad. How much do we have to donate to get you to eat a Planeswalker live on stream? Oh, God. Can it be this? Can it be this Nicol Bolas the Ravager checklist token that I have about 20 of now? Two, three, four. Higher Answer's Cage, Diagraph Ghoul, and Rogue's Gloves. Okay. Followed by a Valiant Knight. Must be Knights. Gift of Paradise, Sleep, and Alien and Vanguard. Okay. 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 Followed by another Ice Light. I think we got a play set of Ice Lights now. I think we actually only have three. Ooh, an Ajani Emblem. See, look at that idiot. He got excited about the Ajani Emblem. What a friggin' nerd. And we got a foil in this bad boy. Got a murder, a lightning mare, and a gear per guide. So many murders and so many horses. Omen seeker foil. Followed by, ooh, a resplendent angel. That's a good card. I'm a fan. All right, that's four mythics. I think we can hit one more. We got a bunch of packs left, surprisingly. It's that time where we take all the packs out of the box. I think we have like 11 packs still. So like a third of the box. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten packs. Oh, no. Actually, holy smokes. Four over here, too. We have 14 packs left, and we've already hit five mythics. Four mythics? One, two, three. Four mythics. God, I can't even... What a hot mess. All right. We got We got this. We got this. We got this. It's funny saying we got this in a situation like this, because you have really no effect over the outcome. This is not a skill-based game, guys. Declare Dominance, Dragon Egg, and Poison Tip Archer. And I'm not saying magic isn't. I'm saying opening these packs and hitting hitting Mythics is not. Dragon's Horde. Okay. It's not okay. I mean, I, ideally there's going to be one Nicol Bolas in these packs. Because I really want to hit... Uh, I really want to play a set of Nicol Bolas. That's really all I want. Herald of, Herald of Faith, Fountain of Renewal, and a double cast. Okay. Okay. Your motto is locked? I assume you mean Modo, M-O-D-O, not motto. But I could be wrong. Got Lena. Not gonna Lena on that. For oh, not foil. I do like a good foil. Heroic Reinforcements, Volcanic Dragon, and a Double Cast. Okay, okay. My phone auto-corrected. Makes sense. I I accept. Titanic Growth. Sometimes I'm seeing these foils and I'm like, oh, this is the first Titanic Growth I've seen. And then I'm like, oh, it's a common. We haven't looked at the commons, so. Probably not. Isereth the Awakener. 
Okay. Also a 3-3 three, three for, for 3, which is with, with Death Touch, so... Not too bad. Oh, this might be my first Angel token, though. That's interesting. No, I think I've seen other Angel tokens. I think I just didn't make a big hoopla about them. Uh, first one in this box for sure, though, so... Gargoyle Sentinel, Slater Enchanter, and a Blood Divination. Followed by a Dark Dweller Oracle. Like you do. So we have, we have five, right? One, two, three, four. No, we have four, right? Angel, Chromium, Sarkon, Vivian. Okay, so yeah, we definitely have one more. We, 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 can, we can do one more Mythic in this box. 100%. Oh, we have a foil. Let's make a stand. I made a, I made a terrible mistake, guys. And uncommons are Harpy, Horizon Scholar, and Regal Bloodlord. Three flo three floaty boys. Three Esper floaty boys. The Esper floaty boys is the name of my uh, my barbershop quartet as well. Sun Cleanser. Pretty unexciting. So Sun Cleanser says when it enters the battlefield, choose one. Remove all counters from target creature. It can't have counters put on as long as Sun Cleanser ends on the battlefield. Okay, that's fine. Target opponent loses all counters. That player can't get counters for as long as Sun Cleanser. Like, that's great against energy, but why didn't why not just say target player loses all counters? And then have it just be this great foil for, for Infect. I guess because you want... Because because Mark Rosewater loves Infect and he just wants Infect to exist. But, um... It's just like... I think that's actually a hair. It's a stray hair. That's a stray hair. Michael Strayhair. That's the football player. Surge Mayor, Tectonic Rift, and Bone to Ash. Okay. And Supreme Phantoms, Phantom number three. We're getting close. Getting close to that Phantom playset, boys. Colossal Majesty, Draconic Disciple, and a Volley Veteran. Volleyball Veteran. Followed by an Ajani's Last Stand, which I believe makes the Avatar token. It does. I'm correct. Oh, another foil. God, these foils are getting me so... Nope, not a foil. Dang it, I lied. Brawl Bash Ogre, a Gaspark Twins, and a Volley Veteran again. And a Lathless Dragon Queen. It's funny, whenever I see these these uh, legendary creatures with a new frame, I always feel like they're mythic. Because the new frame makes them feel mythic. I'm like, oh, look at that. Oh, it's just a regular legendary creature, but it has that cool new frame. And Gravedigger, Enigma Drake, and Arcane Laboratory. Encyclopedia. I always say Lab like I don't think I've gotten that card name once. Encyclopedia. Arcane Encyclopedia and a mentor of the meek. Arcane Encyclopedia. That's the name of that dude. Nicobolus, come on. Why are you like this? This is why you don't have any friends. Well, if we don't hit a Nicobolus in this box, it's unlikely we're gonna get a playset because I can't imagine there's gonna be two in one box, let alone one in each. Which is unfortunate. Switcheroo Lightning Strike. A Johnny's Welcome. Followed by a D Baron. D Baron. To Lupka, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. One, two, three, four. Oh, hold on. I put some uncommons up here. Like a like a rank amateur. I can only wonder how many how many times I've made that mistake. This is not going to be fun to sort all these things. Alright, I saw the rare. Skyrider Patrol, Vigilant Bailoth, and a Blanchwind Armor. Followed by a Mistcaller. A one-mana merfolk that may 
compete with Curse Catcher as their one drop of choice? I don't think so, but it is a sideboard option, especially because it counters Collected Company quite well. Four. No bolus here, unfortunately. We got here a gutter snipe, a millstone, and inferno hellion. Can we just mill people out and. S oh, Liliana, this is a three planeswalker box, boys. This box has Liliana, a Sarkon, a Resplendent Angel, a Vivian, and a Chromium. This is a good box so far. Two packs left. The five mythics. Three planeswalkers? Yes, please. Uh, Vampiric Sovereign, Nightmares, Nightmares Thirst, and a Shield Mare. Two mares, two mares in this pack, a Nightmare and a Shield Mare. And another Runic Armasaur, Fred Armasaur. All right, last pack, I believe, unless I have some sneaky packs somewhere else. Which I don't think I do. Man, one Nicobolus and three, four boxes. That's pretty stupid, I'll be honest with you guys. Why would he lie about that? Well, I wouldn't. Got a Siege Breaker Giant, a Suspicious a Bookcase, and an Aegis of the Heavens. Followed by another Sweet Prodigious Growth. Unfortunate, but hard to feel bad about that box. I think that box was pretty good, all things considered. Uh, my goal here is to get a playset of Nicobolus and, like, enough Sarkons to play Day Dex, enough Vivians to play Dex, but uh, we're not there yet. But I feel like we're, we're getting we're getting closer. I, I don't think we're going to hit that Nicobolus playset, but uh, what can you do? Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons down below if you enjoyed the content. And if you want to support me on either Twitch or Patreon, both of those links are in the description. And uh, I'm, I'm on both of those places regularly. So thank you guys for watching and uh, appreciate the support.